uh, second to last supercharger in Aldal. So if you look here, consumption is 222 and we are at about 500 meters over sea level. So if you um, compensate for that, uh, subtract that, then uh, consumption is around 210. And you see, it was higher than yesterday. Yesterday, we were doing like 190-ish. But yesterday, the temperature was slightly higher and it wasn't rainy, it was wet. So uh, the 210 is usually what they get in winter. And that means the temperature doesn't have I mean, the temperature doesn't reduce uh, range that much. It is more of a, yeah, the road surface, like now. See, it's so wet outside. Oh. And, um, I mean, how can Tesla do that? Well, my theory is that um, it uses the leftover energy from the motor. Uh, when I was driving, uh, I calculated that I averaged uh, 18 kilowatt. So, at cruising speed, the motor will draw 18 kilowatt, and if we assume 90% um, efficiency, then about 1.8 kilowatt of that will uh, be heat, and then the heat is not just, you know, uh, wasted through the exhaust system, which this doesn't have, but uh, it will be kept and then rerouted to either the battery or inside the cabin. So 1.8 kilowatt should be sufficient to keep the car warm. Yeah, at this temperature. So it's pretty smart the way uh, Tesla did it.